Hammer Flash 7 time. BT system. You ain't testing. You're guessing. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Sunday morning, December 17th. 10.30 in the morning. I just spent an hour on the phone with a gentleman uh, from Brooklyn. He has a relatively new uh, HVAC repair service contracting business. He booked an hour virtual consultation with me. We went over a lot. Um, if you guys are new to the business, you want some advice, you want to speak to me, private consultations are available. Um, details on my website, pipedoc.net. Look at this guy's trying to do right there. Look at that. <laughs> uh, we're heading to an emergency service call right now in Valley Stream. We have a customer that has got no heat. Let's go see what's going on. All right, I just pulled up to the job. Uh, one of the great things about House Call Pro, it allows me and my technicians to track their time. Um, so I'm going to hit start job and the House Call Pro app is going to keep track of how long I'm here. So I, I put the thermostat down. Okay. You want me to do? Actually, that uh, water is running, but heat is not coming. The water is running. So you have hot water. Right, right, right. But you have no heat. Right. Okay. Is the thermostat on? No, I, I, I lowered it. You lowered it? Yeah. You want me to put it up? Let's go see the thermostat. It's not so cold. 67. All right. Now it's okay. So what happens when you had it on? What temperature you have it on to? Uh, well, usually 72. It's 72. So let's put it to 72 then. There's no pilot. But it got its voltage. It clicked. But there's no gas flowing because there's no pilot. All right, so we're going to try to relight this pilot. We're going to turn off the power. Thank you. Good. So there's this gas control from on to pilot. We push down on the plunger like that. The instructions are also written right there. Written by lawyers, by the way. See these instructions right there? Yeah. They're written by lawyers. You know that? <laughs> lawyers, yeah, because they don't want you to blow yourself up. <laughs> All right, so. I'm going to light this pilot. I'm going to push down on that red plunger. I'm going to take a flame. Now we have the pilot flame lit. I'm going to keep my finger on this plunger for about a minute. And when we let go, that pilot flame should stay on. All right. Let's see. I'm going to let go of this, and hopefully it stays on, which it did. Look at that. For the original thermal coupling. Thermal couple, not bad. Cover back on. Back into place. But get in there. There you go. And let's see. Our boiler is from 2009. 2008. <laughs> Manufactured in November 2008. So now we're going to turn this to on, and we're going to go like this, and our damper, which was open, is going to close, and then our zone valve end switch just energized our fan center relay, thermostat relay right there. Once the damper is opened, that's fully opening, we'll hear the click with the gas valve, and then we'll have ignition. And just like that, Houston, we have ignition. So let me explain what happened, and what I did, and how we should proceed. Okay? You had no heat, because the pilot light on this boiler uh, went out. Mm -hmm. Okay? The, the pilot is always on. It's a small little gas flame, similar to what your water heater has, and it allows the boiler to run when it needs to. Okay. okay? Uh, the flame doesn't require any power. 
Right? Mm -hmm. If I turn the power off right now, that pile of flame will still be on, just like I turned the power off when I relit it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So th there's a part, what we, what we call a pilot flame sensor or a thermal couple that sits in the pilot flame, mm -hmm. and its job is to sense that pilot flame. Okay. These thermal couples or pilot flame sensors don't last forever. Mm -hmm. And they normally last about 10 years, seven wow. to 10 years. Okay. The one that's in your boiler appears to be the original one, okay. and your boiler is from no November of 2008. Mm -hmm. So the chances are it's the original one. Now what you could do is we can, number one right now, do nothing. The boiler's running, I'm gonna make sure that the system mm -hmm. heats up, and basically you paid for, you know, an armor life, we relate your pilot. Um, but now you, we know what happens, and hopefully it doesn't reoccur, but eventually it's gonna reoccur. Mm -hmm. Number two, we can replace the thermal couple now because it's the original one and I'm already here. You're already paying me for my emergency drug charge on the hour of labor. It's a good idea to change it. It's not really that expensive. Uh, or number three, tell me to get the F out of your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and ladies and gentlemen, that's how simple that is. Explain the options to your, your customer, your client. Make, let them make the decision. I'm already here. What's another X amount of dollars uh, in the total cost of the job? I'm already here. It's probably gonna go out again. It's the original one with, that came with the boiler. It's time for it to go. I'm using a, uh, a flare box wrench. It's uh, got the one side for a thermal couple and the other side for the gas pilot tubing. Works perfectly. It sits in my Vito. There's a link down in the description box down below. I remove the thermal couple. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take the burners out. I'm going to remove the front plate first. A little dirty. Tap it on the ground. I was doing a quick little removal. Bang them out real quick. And then uh, we'll change our thermal couple. They're not terrible. I've seen them much worse. We have tons and tons of dirt, debris, and carbon come out of these bad boys. Yeah, I'm trying to loosen up the thermal couple below the pilot burner assembly but let's use the wrench we're gonna loosen up the gas pilot tubing leaving our gas valve remove that and then pull the whole burner out Yes, sir. One sec, I'm trying to get this thing out of here and it don't want to be cooperative. Not wasting time. I got a valve tag on the gas for the boiler, the water main coming into the house, the boiler feed, water heater feed, water heater gas, all while, all while my uh, combustion analyzer is running, proving that we have a safe system. Using a U-line packing slip, uh, I put my combustion test results in there. All right, so the job is done. I marked the job complete in House Call Pro. Emailed the customer a paid invoice detailing uh, what we did, line item breakdown. And what's best about it is I wasn't here just to change a thermal couple, right? I'm at the customer's location to restore their heat and make sure we have safe heat but also to make sure I deliver value. And you can see with the House Cold Pro app, I spent 12 minutes of total travel time and total time on the job was 49 minutes. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. 49 minutes to change a thermal couple. But we did a lot more than change a thermal couple. We delivered prompt, professional, reliable heating services to this existing customer. We got the system up and running. We discussed why the system failed and ways we can correct it from happening again in the future, which is imperative during a service call, any service call, plumbing, heating, air conditioning, right? You wanna discuss ways of failure, how we can make it go away, and how we can prevent it again. Here, the failure was age of a thermal couple that's original with the boiler. One of the methods to fix this problem is not to just relight the pilot, but to change the thermal couple. 
And number three, it reinforces the need for annual service on this boiler. I validated the system as being safe by performing a combustion and draft analysis, printed the results, and put that on the front cover of this boiler. That's how Pipe Doctor delivers services. And if you need some help in making sure that your customers can receive the same level of quality that I give mine, reach out to me at pipedoc.net. We can set up a virtual uh, video consultation, and together we can make the trades great again. Because I'm not getting any younger, you're not getting any younger, and the next generation, we need to give them the right skills to take care of our grandkids and our great-great-grandkids. Catch you on the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe. And I don't know about you, but Grey Goose is far superior to, than Absolute. <laughs>